Hey everyone, this is Fritz Hopalong Rudy, coming to you from Wisconsin. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about being prepared as an amputee. Being prepared is a good thing for everybody to get into, but specifically for amputees, we have a few more needs than the average layperson. One of the first things that you'll probably learn as an amputee is exactly what components and what parts you might need to bring with you just to get through your normal day. Things like socks, and tools that you might need on a regular basis, charging cables if they're required, if you have a, an electric knee or an electric ankle, um, things of that nature. Those are pretty much the first things I think that most amputees learn to prepare you know, in advance and kind of go through a mental checklist before you walk out of the house. There are other factors to consider when you are thinking of preparing. Um, mental preparation is one of them that I don't think gets talked about enough. Uh, Knowing that people will stare when you're in public. People do that. It's odd, but they do. People might ask you completely rude or extremely personal questions. Again, why? Because they're human. Um, mentally preparing yourself for situations like that will definitely ease some tension and let you shrug them off a little bit faster uh, if a situation like that does arise. Um, other preparations are really looking ahead, not just booking a flight and a hotel, but finding out what requirements the flight might have for any medical necessities that you have. Looking at uh, how far you're going to have to walk in airports or when you get to your destination, will you need um, adaptive equipment in your hotel room? Do they have that? Things of that nature. Basically, to sum everything up, life doesn't stop. We keep moving, and we're not going to stop. But you just have to take a few things into consideration before you leave that will make your life as an amputee that much easier.